Hello everybody, welcome back to another video today. And today's video is just um something I found out about an hour ago and this could be the possible leak for Wave 9 NASCAR Fendex 2022. So obviously there's no official release yet, so this is an unofficial reaction review of this wave. So this video might be is probably gonna be very just probably gonna be short because there's no side by side comparisons to show to the car if there's any issues with it. I just hope there's no blurry decals, no PTC mold. So yeah, and altogether this wave is is okay. It's it's decent, but at the end I'll give you my analytic analytics of this wave and how I think of it and on a scale of one to ten it is. So first up, I noticed there's like I believe five exclusives in this wave and I could be mistaken but the first one is Brad Kozlowski's fast and all car that he ran at, ran at Talladega the spring race and that don't get me wrong guys um there are so many beautiful Brad Kozlowski cars and this is in my opinion probably a missed opportunity it's not a bad paint scheme but it's not a fan favorite either and they could have chose one of his other dnp cars, but they chose that one. So that one, there, there is some missed opportunity there for that car, but it's not entirely a bad car. There's still some some uniqueness uniqueness about it. They even they didn't make Ryan Newman's car from the last year though. Next up is Alex Bowman's uh, Donington Throwback. And this one is another another missed opportunity because they could have put, you know, his Nashville car in, but they put that one in instead. And that's what I mean. The ex exclusives makes more better deals than just putting in exclusives. Not exclusives. Crap, I can't speak. The Gold Series the, and the NASCAR Fenix and where you can literally go. You don't have to leave your comfort of your home. You can just buy it off the internet and not have to go and hunt for the, hunt for it. So that's my other, you know, pet peeve about this car. Like the first two, they're okay for this wave, but there there should have been better cars in my opinion. Let's just be real. Next up is Ryan Blaney's Penzel car, and this one is it's a, it's it's at least the most colorful. Like I'm not really a fan of white based paint schemes. So I'm just gonna be honest about that. Some of them work. Like the Ross Chastain Advent Health car and and the Brad Kozlowski Kohler generators car and those type of cars, but white's just such a bland color that it's just it's not perfect on paint schemes in my opinion. But this one is colorful, at least it has a lot of it has um yellow on it, it has red and it looks okay. It looks it's it's fine for the wave. Uh after all I did predict a Ryan Blaney car to be in this wave. But, I, but it was a wrong car. I expected the Wabash car to be in here. So this car, Eric Step still does not like it. I'm I'm fine with it. It's not it's not the best car. Let's just be honest here. But the neon color. Let I hope that this this car does not have any blurry decals because if it doesn't, it's gonna stand out and be beautiful. I'm just gonna be honest. Now here's a car that that is perfect for this wave and i actually got correct on my review kaz grala's money team pit viper car now that that is an awesome awesome addition to this wave is if it's official first time for the money team and the first time the 50 car ever got into a nascar fendix wave how about that and the first tech league starcom racing diecast too and this is what i mean about color cars i like the colors like seriously you could barely the only white on the car is the numbers. That's pretty much it. Maybe the specs, like the, uh, the I don't know, the, the confetti looking like sparkles on the car. But other than that, it, it just blends in so well. It's a beautiful car. So glad I got an NASCAR Fenix review. They got an NASCAR Fenix release. I just hope that the decals are not screwed up and it's not in the PTC mold. And, this, and if anyone missed out on the Gold Series, it's a good opportunity to get it. Now that that is one exception, like the Gregson car or the Wendy's car. If the Gold Series one has gone up, got super up in value, then NASCAR Fenix would be a good way to get that if you don't want to pay that much money on eBay. So I can understand that. But literally, these 
this car right here you can get in the gold series. You can really get that. And I don't think it's rare. You can even get it in the four pack too. So give you see my point. Now here is in my opinion the absolute best car of the way if it turns out to be official. Trevor Baines. I think I don't know the sponsor, but it's Devotion Toyota Super for Joe Gibbs Racing. This one. If this turns out to be official, and it turns out to be official Nesca Fenix release, if it doesn't have any of those blurry decals, that one's going to be a hot seller. Might look into it. I, I said I wasn't going to collect Nesca Fenix anymore, but if they don't butcher up this car right here, I might get this car. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. This car is freaking awesome. I have still no idea why Lionel canceled the, the original version in all scales, but I really want it. To get this car, honestly, I really do. And it's first time an Xfinity car has been in NASCAR Fenix waves in like over six waves, six, seven waves. Last time we got it was in wave three, which was like God knows how long ago. That was like five months ago. But I'm glad we finally got um, a Trevor Bain car, if this is true. It looks really nice. It's came close to winning a couple races this year. I hope he comes back. Next up, here's another car that that is a missed opportunity. Kyle Larson's Donington throwback. I forgot to which driver. This one's to Mark Martin. But they could have put a different Larson car. Or here's here's another thing. They could have put a truck in this wave. I don't know, Tad Moffitt's STP truck. They could have put that truck in there, but instead they put in a car you could literally get in the gold series, and that is in the four pack. So and this car isn't anything lighting on fire, so I get it to help their market, but still, man, it's just... They could have put a truck in this wave since they put Xfinity cars. There's another Xfinity car we'll get to in a second, get to in a second but just another missed opportunity. It's, a, it's an okay car. It's a vintage car-looking design from, you know, the 80s because back then... But... I know better 80 cars designs, like the Richard Petty cars. Those cars had way better designs than this. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest here. Next one, I have no idea who that driver is. Is that a Martin Truex Jr. car? I think it is. Is that an exclusive or did it get released in the Gold Series? Because I know Christopher Bell had got one made. I know Kyle Busch got one made. I think Truex got this car made in the Gold Series, but if it's not, it's it's going to be five exclusives in this way. We'll get to the other two in a second, but. I mean, I mean, if you, because of the NASCAR Fenix, well, if you want to match up your cars, then the, the Truex and Bell are way to go. But sadly, the Bush car screwed up, so you can't make it a trio, unfortunately. Well, you could, but I recommend not getting that Bush car because the. Decals are blurry as heck. Yeah, it's a, it's an okay car. I could be mistaken. I think it's a Joe Gibbs car, but who knows? I think it's Truex. I don't know. Now, here's another car. From what I've heard, this car um was canceled on 164. You can only get it in the lead version. So, for once, we got a Chase Sully exclusive car. And this one doesn't look too bad. Excuse me, I think I had to burp there because I had goldfish recently. But this car, this is a, a throwback to, of all people, Jimmy Means. Sorry about that. It's just uh, the screen got dark, I had to turn it back on. But out of all the people, I was throwing it back to Jimmy Means. Who you might know as as the, the Xfinity owner who hasn't been inactive in a lot of Xfinity races, his team most specifically. His team been kind of dead, let's just be real. Just let's just be honest. I think it's they're in life support, unfortunately. I hope that team can get it together and get more sponsorship, but nonetheless, it's a beautiful car. I might get this car just like the Trevor Bain car. I might because I'm not just getting it because it's a Chase Elliott car. Maybe that because he's my favorite driver, but it's an exclusive too. I don't have little literally. This is what what I mean about about these exclusives. Like instead of like they did make another version that he ran during the race, but that one's not really that good. Let's just 
I'm I'm being honest. That one is doesn't cut cut it for me, but this one looks awesome. Great addition to this wave. Recommend getting if it doesn't have any blurry decals, nor is on the PTC mold. And here's the other car I might get. I got the Kaz Grala car, so I don't need to worry about getting that car. And here's Justin Allgaier's Hellman's Dale Earnhardt Senior throwback. And the, he actually won in this car. I don't know if it's a raced version or not, but man. Imagine if it was a raced version. That would be awesome for this wave. A raced version Justin Allgaier car. Like, literally, we didn't... I don't think we got his 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 car from last year, the Good Humor car. The, I don't remember it is from 2021 that he also won it. I don't know if we got that car in 164, but we're getting another Justin Allgaier car, NASCAR Fenix, what it looks like. This is the third time that's happened, and that's awesome. This car was awesome. I don't know why they canceled it. It still sucks that they canceled it, but if there's no blurry decals, none of that crap, then... This is worth getting. I'm just being real honest. I don't, I don't know why I keep repeating that. But sorry that the image is blurry. This comes off Twitter via Twitter. So it's a it's a cool car. I wish it wasn't cut off though. Uh, so we can see the rest of it. But now the, then the liquid color or the liquid chase piece is the DeWalt car, the Truex car. It doesn't say which driver it is, which I think is stupid. I think it should say the driver. Because what if people don't know what DeWalt is? Like, where's DeWalt? Like, you get what I mean? But it doesn't show the car. I wish it did. But yeah, that's basically the unofficial rave review. I hope this is the Wave 9. I hope this is a good wave. Please don't blurry decals. Please no PTC mold. And please do not screw up this beauty right here. I swear to God. That car better not be screwed up. Or I'm going to have some words with Lionel. Because this is a car that... that that I personally want in my collection. I really want it. And and I and seriously, they screwed up the Chastain car, they screwed up the Stenhouse car, they screwed up the Ty Dillon car. They better not screw up this car. I swear to God. Anyways, thanks for watching this unofficial rave review if this comes true. Now, at a scale of one out of ten, I'm gonna give it a five or six out of ten. If it like the reason why is because there's just this car is unappealing. It's an exclusive, so it's it's cool, but it's not the best car in the world. This one you can get in the gold series. This one's not too spectacular. This car you can get in the four pack as well with this one. Like you, these ones are not really that best selling. The money team it did, the money team car is good. Keep that. That one's awesome. Bane is definitely the best car in here. Elliot and the all guy are great additions to this wave, but and then there's the Truex, man. It's like I don't know. Was there a different Truex car that got canceled? They could have put that one in here, but I get what they put it in there, so you can make a trio of the DeWalt cars. But either way, comment down below what you think about this this real reveal or this leak of this wave. I hope this is the actual wave. I don't want it to be some crap where there's no exclusives. This car better be in it. I swear to God. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Peace.